This show is actually about winter. A lot of the work here deals with like winter scenery or it deals with potential or um, there are a few pieces that deal with like um, psychological issues. This is a really great piece called No One in the Garden of Eden and it has a long root coming down and so you know I, I thought it was just beautiful. You had this tree that looks like a tree but it's also white. It looks kind of drained of life. What the general story about China and the art world tends to be is, is about the auctions and the auction results and then you know what happened to Ai Weiwei which is um, you know it's, it's, it's quite a very sad story um, but it, it doesn't necessarily represent um, the lives of all the Chinese artists. I mean a lot of artists managed to get away with quite a lot of interesting work. The artists, the, the younger generation, they are very eager to experiment and I, in the last few years you can see the trends are changing a lot so that's very exciting. One of the things that kept me here was that you know as a curator um, your resources are the artists that you know and the artists that you work with and you know I, I kind of have an advantage here you know in that, that I know so many artists and I also speak and read Chinese, you know, pretty fluently, and so that's an advantage I have over other curators. And I'm really actually very happy to discover the scene here and, and learn what's going on here. There are certain things you can do in China that, um, you know, are much harder to pull off, you know, in the West, just in terms of cost, you know, like, um, if an artist wants to produce something, you know, we can give them a, a small material fee and they can make a work, you know, just because the cost of manufacturing things here is, is so much less. If you want to show your work, you want to work within the system, you know, you're, you're obviously not going to talk about Taiwan or Tibet, um, you're not going to talk about Falun Gong or, or any of that stuff. You have to be careful about openly criticizing the performance of the government, you know, with, with how they're managing the country. And we had quite a bit of difficulty in the first uh, year with censorship. We had um, one show that was shut down for a whole month um, by the Cultural Bureau. We also had another show where two works were censored. They told us we couldn't show works of foreign artists. It's been uh, a big learning curve for us, but now I think we're kind of like, we've come out of that, that period, we've moved to a new space, so it's, it's much easier to get away with doing what we do. We also learn to be more subtle in our press releases and, and also in the way that we um, frame our shows. Uh, it's kind of lucky to be an artist in China today. For political art, it's gone. The, the, now there is, if you are good, you can be good. The strategy is like every, everybody else. Or like any countries, like in Europe, like in America, you, you need to make good art to be, become good. There isn't really a, yet a truly developed art market in Shanghai. It's still very small. Um, and yet there is this growing population with expendable income, huge amounts of expendable income, um, that are interested in luxury, that are interested in the idea of, of culture and are moving beyond just the trappings of that, but are actually trying to educate themselves. Other challenges, a lot of the hassle of running a gallery is just the nitty gritty kind of details and going to the bank and whatnot can be, thank God I have staff who's really good and I, you know, they, I just work with them to negotiate those things and once you live here long enough, you just become used to it. Oh, there's some, oh, they, you know, require some documentation for us to take money out of the bank or, you know, like, we just get used to these kind of bureaucratic uh, hassles. Um, what keeps me here, I mean, I think you, you mentioned it, you know, being part of a big story. It's, it's really exciting to work with a variety of artists, to be here kind of on the front lines. I think I do kind of like that, that challenge of having to struggle a little bit every day. <laughs> Oh no, it's raining. 